Hi everybody, Gary Porter again. Uh, I just completed the assembly of the uh, control disc that was going to control the three energy levels to the 20, 20 different coils. Uh, and uh, the way it's going to work is you can simply rotate this platform and it changes the direction of the, uh, of the 20 coils on another platform. And uh, there are uh, three, three brushes on the, on the bottom of the assembly and uh, but I'm using six so each each is actually a double for balancing the, the uh, flow. There's three circles of, uh, of copper in the middle and uh, you can see I soldered the other side has runners that go down from the, uh, the 20 coil connections these runners reach down into the three different energy levels and uh, that's how it's going to work for now and uh, next thing is to get the platform done. Well I got the 20 coils all done and uh, the two PC boards you see in the back are uh, one's a little NE55 timer arrangement that's adjustable for pulses and that drives a couple of FETs and they drive a primary on a transformer uh, what I found interesting was the transformer primary, it's a ferrite core for high voltage transformers in uh, televisions and stuff. The uh, 250 turns in a primary 12 volt pulse is going in. Uh, the three secondaries are 217, 113, and I believe, no, 169 and then 113. It should be a step down, but what I'm seeing on the three blue caps back there, uh, the two 117 turn gives me over a hundred and some volts. Uh, the second one gives me about 70 and the, the last one, the closest one to us is uh, about 49 volts from a 12 volt primary impulses. Uh, so there's something interesting going on there. The ferrite uh, core apparently is pretty uh, pretty efficient at whatever frequency I'm running it at. I'm not even sure what that is but I just pulsed it. I'm seeing about 400 volts negative back EMF pulses on the on the primary, and uh, eventually uh, we're going to have a system that has numerous secondaries, uh, one running the system, starting that system with a 12 volt battery, and uh, by using the the capacitors and FETs and uh, a fill FET to fill the cap and a dump FET to dump the cap to the primary. Repeat that sequence 10 times for 10 caps. Uh, each cap prior to dumping will receive back EMF of 10 of 9 pulses which should maintain the energy level at each of the 10 caps. And uh, by doing this hopefully I can get a system to oscillate and run filling the secondaries with energy without having the battery connected by simply using back EMF and properly timing the, uh, the whole deal. And uh, so the idea is from one, from three or four back EMF pulses, we know we can take 12 volts and charge up a cap to around, oh, maybe 100, anywhere from 80 to 100 volts to 150 volts DC just from three back EMF pulses. So by distributing the single primary coil back EMF uh, energy of 400 volts will distribute parallel energy will go to the nine caps uh, and then each cap individually is pulsed through a counter uh, to the primary coil and uh, hopefully that will run all by itself. We're going to find out. Anyway, have a good day.